friends, <laughs> this is, will be my very first video about questions and answers, and I'm so excited. Engin will help me with the questions, so we are ready to go. First question, Nina. Do you feel lucky? <laughs> yes, I do feel lucky because I'm alive and I have so many uh, opportunities to use them. So <laughs> I feel lucky on that. If you had a time machine, what would you go back and prevent? Um, my answer is nothing. <laughs> I'm really happy with all my path and I would not change anything. How is your life with your job? Are you missing your previous life? Um, I'm really happy with what I'm doing right now. Sometimes, as you might know, I'm workaholic. Yeah, I do too much, but still I'm much happier and I never miss my previous life. It's in the past. <laughs> okay, fourth one is about Turkish food. What is your favorite Turkish food? Um, shish kebab. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken shish kebab or lamb uh, shish kebab? Actually lamb shish kebab. Lamb shish kebab. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever talked with Engin's family? We know your family loves Engin. What about them? <laughs> yes, we are talking from time to time. We are using phone. Uh, but we never meet uh, personally. I hope it will happen really soon. <laughs> okay. Do you think about going to another country after Sri Lanka? Uh, yes, we are thinking to go Ukraine, but as you might see, um, things are changing in the world and uh, what it will be, nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, no plan for now. <laughs> yes. Are you a freelancer? If yes, what are your focus areas? Uh, yes, I do interior design <laughs> as a freelancer. Are you making fun of Engin because you were way better at surfing? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, what a question is! <laughs> of course! <laughs> Actually, like, uh, not at all, <laughs> because uh, it's normal process to fail and I don't consider myself such a good surfer <laughs> as well, so actually, like... I'm like, maybe I was good maybe 10 times and you were good one time and people think you are better than <laughs> I am. Okay. Yeah, because we put uh, what we want to put in the video, you know? <laughs> maybe I felt 20 times. <laughs> What is your future aim? Uh, my future aim to be happy in a moment <laughs> because I consider right now not make sense to build uh, plans, further plans. Like, mm, so it's the most important to be happy right now. This is my aim to be happy every moment. <laughs> All right. The next question is interesting. It's about money, money, money. How much do you earn approximately from Upwork as a freelancer, Lena? I actually don't know, so <laughs> tell me. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I want to say that um, it depends how much time I put there. For example, this month I don't have projects on Upwork at all because my priorities is uh, do something else, YouTube, uh, courses, education. Uh, but I can say that I could earn from $600 to $3,000 a month. Uh, and um, it's like up to me how much effort and time I can put there. And uh, actually Upwork doesn't have any limits. You can earn even much more because you can create your agency, you can have a company and then you can increase, increase and increase your income. When will you get married with Engel? <laughs> uh, I don't know, we were ready to get married uh, in Sri Lanka, but we learned that um, Sri Lanka doesn't have Ukrainian embassy, so it's impossible. So as soon as we will uh, arrive to Ukraine, <laughs> we will be able to get married. And uh, also um, uh, we will get married in Turkey as well, because we need to do both. Exactly. It can be one. <laughs> oh, it's like to be an Ukrainian and live on island. Uh, I feel blessed <laughs> because uh, like, uh, Three years ago or two years ago, I was still in the winter. Right now is winter time in mm -hmm. my country. It's uh, snowing. It's uh, minus six or something like that temperature. And uh, of course, it's not such cheerful like uh, <laughs> uh, be on island right now. So I'm happy. What do you think about being an English teacher? Uh, I don't think to be an English teacher <laughs> at all. I like to communicate. I know that my English is not so perfect and I don't have that passion to teach in English. I just like to speak English. <laughs> That's true. I'm an architect student. I want to learn the necessary programs like you and do freelance work. Where do you think I should start? 
Um, I think you should start to keep improving your uh, architectural skills like 3D modeling, planning, so on. Also, you need to improve your English uh, and communication skills because it's very important to build a connection uh, with your customers. And also, you need uh, to learn how freelance market works. So, in this way, learning all those uh, steps, you will be able uh, to achieve your dream. And I can say that, of course, it's uh, a lot. I can understand it, but we live in a, such a, a high-speed uh, world. And uh, I can recommend you to watch the class Simple Productivity, how to accomplish more with less by Greg McKeon, author and speaker. And actually, less is more, it's one of my favorite phrases. So if you want to dip down into that and be uh, really successful on managing many things, I would highly recommend you to watch it. So Skillshare is an online learning community of creative and curious people. They got thousands of classes on pretty much everything. It's a perfect way to keep your learning and thriving. And if you are wondering how much Skillshare costs, it's incredibly affordable compared to the pricey private classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. If you still don't know what Skillshare is, come on, check it out. It's worth it. So the first 1000 people who will click the link in my description will get free trial of Skillshare Premium. Okay, let's get back to the questions. <laughs> so, question 16. Have you ever split up with Engine even for a week? No. <laughs> Have you ever thought about what would you like to do after traveling the world? What do you think of settling in somewhere? Boring? Exciting? Uh, actually, we have a dream to have our own house and uh, have a family, but still I think when we will have that, it doesn't mean that we will settle down like uh, forever. <laughs> so yes. we want to keep that uh, lifestyle, we want to keep exploring the world, so I can say that I'm excited about that. <laughs> excited. A, excited. I'm excited. Okay. As a woman, did you ever find it difficult to travel the world? Uh, I can say that I have never traveling alone <laughs> as a woman, <laughs> but I'm traveling like with Engin and uh, for me it's much more of course like beneficial because as you might know for example I am bad in the directions, roads, <laughs> he is covering uh, totally, this is my need um, and uh, yeah I feel uh, safe because we are together but I met uh, a lot of women on the road and I can say that it's harder to be alone as a woman you need to be much more careful but still at the same time there are a lot of uh, happy women who is traveling the world alone how to be motivated to work on something um, to be motivated, you need to find the goal, the reason, the dream. Why do you want to do that work? So, for example, uh, as a sample, like if you want to become a freelancer, why do you want to become that freelancer, right? Uh, you want to uh, increase your income or you want to build more connection, inter international connections. Uh, do you want... Um, be your own boss, uh, be anywhere and anytime. So when you will find exactly reason why do you want to do that, this is, will be your motivation and move you forward. What are the similarities and differences between Turkish culture and Ukrainian culture? How do you transcend these differences in your relationship with England? Uh, I can say that uh, there are of course some differences but we don't feel them too much because like we both are open-minded people and uh, we like to explore actually different cultures and um, like maybe some like small differences but generally it's much more interesting even to have different cultures exactly. in a like with, with your partner if you wouldn't be a freelancer and wasn't traveling the world what would you do um, I think that uh, I would uh, be a salsa teacher, <laughs> something <laughs> like that. I really love it. I love dancing and I love so much Latin American um, music. Uh, but uh, when you are traveling, changing places, it's so hard to focus on that. All if right. I would be settled down, I would work on it. <laughs> okay, How does it feel being around Engin? How does he manage to make all those shootings, edit the content and share every day? <laughs> Does he live with a camera on his hand all day? <laughs> Doesn't it create stress to produce something every day? Uh, so I can say that uh, for sure it's very hard to do that, but 
he doesn't sleep with the camera. Generally, he uh, keeps the uh, camera on his hands maybe one or two hours a day. But anyway, this all circle to uh, plan video, to um, shoot video, then to make um, editing. So all this circle takes all his uh, time. <laughs> so he is busy. And uh, of course, you can do it just when you love it. So he is so much, uh, he's so much in love with uh, what he is doing. Uh, that's why it's possible. And to be around him sometimes, is, uh, yeah, it's challenging. <laughs> Especially because I have my work, he has his work, and at the same time we want to explore and learn new things. So this is like a juggling on a like skateboard, <laughs> like on a bicycle. I do that. It's it's really hard. I do that part. But we are happy with that. Yeah. Uh, how deeply do you integrate into every country in which you live, into language, culture, or do you feel like a guest and don't dive into such details? I can say that uh, we started our travel to be in, in each city, country, no less than one month. So we are like slow travelers and we exactly like to dip down into the culture. Uh, but it doesn't mean that we learn exactly so much language or... Uh, but we communicate with the people, we uh, try to see how they look into the world. So it makes us wider and uh, I can say that uh, like in one part I, I still feel as a guest, but we really deep down into this uh, different culture. After I watched your videos, I bought a small penny board and I'm trying to get better and tour around the city. Can you tell us about your patients and things you have tried before? So I was trying uh, ski, skating, snowboarding, uh, windsurfing, surfing, uh, some like canoe, uh, subboard, acro yoga, yoga, different dancing. Uh, gym so I'm, I'm keep trying I really love to do that and um, I think it's something that can help you in your life <laughs> so I think we finished right yeah, yeah we done it bro <laughs> it was so cool and I'm so thankful for Engin to help me <laughs> to read <laughs> questions also I'm so thankful for you that you um, had that interest and give me those questions I hope it can help you somehow it helped me a lot also to see myself better and if you like this video please hit the like button and see you in the next one <laughs> bye 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 <laughs>